So welcome to my channel. I am Hannah. I probably already said that. I love these curls because if it's humid out, it looks good. It looks frizzy because guess what, bitch? This is what the look I'm going for. My background looks like shit because it was crumpled up in a ball, in a box, and I wasn't feeling the black, so welcome to my crinkled background. I'm Hannah. I am an amateur when it comes to YouTube and clearly acting. But this is the result you're going to get if, if you understand what I'm saying in any parts of this video. I feel like I have that type of presence where every time I see a girl in public and I'm like, yes, bitch, your hair looks good or your outfit looks on fleek. I, I give that energy, so I feel like I draw in that energy as well. So anytime someone asks me how I do my hair. Oh my god, I freaking love your hair. How do you get it to look like that? I, I use a curling iron and then I like to pull through on the ends and you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? why people don't like me. This is why I don't have friends. Because I do this type of shit in my free time. You guys asked for the terrible acting because YouTube wants me to step up my game. Beat decided to make this video because literally that is a conversation that I have with every single person in my life anytime they ask me how I curl my hair. And that is how I respond or how I get a response to me telling them. It's just easier if I make this video and put this shit out into the world for you people to enjoy. Let's go ahead and get right on into this video. If you don't ever want to see that cringy video again, I completely understand. Give the video a thumbs up and then you never have to see me again. But if you want to see me again, go ahead and hit subscribe right down below. People can't relate to this. People don't want to be friends with people like me. People just want hair tips from me. That's all. I've never done a hair tutorial. So here we are sitting down doing the video that nobody asked for. First things first is I like to part my hair and then I'm just going to tie it up even though I should clip it. Up, but I'm tying it because I don't own any clips, so sue me, I guess. I want my hair to look long when it's curled, so that's why we do the underneath first. And the iron that I'm using is Conair Professional. It is a ceramic. Here she is. She's old, very, very old, but she is, she does good. And then to get my hair curly, I use the Noodle Head by Beyond the Zone, and then I do get this at Sally's because you know I'm a girl on a budget. When I apply this to my hair, I do it at night. So I shower at night, let it dry overnight. Best way that I find to curl your hair is if you can wash your hair on like a Thursday, do nothing to it on a Friday, and then curl it for a Saturday. So I usually plan my hair washing days, like two days prior to when I actually have something going on. I like to also part my hair like down the back as well. What I find when you're curling your hair, the best thing to do is kind of shape it as you curl so where you want more volume add a curl there but for the bottom portion which we're starting off now i don't want a whole lot of curl you can always add curl to it later but i don't want too too much so i like to take little pieces straighten and that done it already fucked up okay i like to take this straighten it down but then instead of doing anything else to it I like to pull it straight down so that way I still get this length but my hair is a little bit more curly so that basically just repeat that and do like bigger smaller and then I do have a mirror right here so if I'm looking off to the distance that's what I'm looking at that way I'm not actually like curling my hair in the monitor which I just did and fucking burned myself sick so anyway so we're gonna start that and I do like to curl my hair away from my face just so everybody knows. She should look something like this right now. And the reason I like to kind of curl at like the mid shaft and go down is because then I kind of get like these straightened ends that I can always, literally you can always go back in if you want to like add a little bit of curl here, you know, towards the ends of it, you can always do that. And then it just adds a little bit more texture. So that is what the outside should look like compared to this side. Now you can see just by doing that, it still looks curly, it still looks texturized, but it is slightly longer. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing on this side and then curl the barrel away from our face. Start at the mid shaft, pull that sucker down. That should be the first part. Now, for the second part, we're gonna let down the whole of the top of our hair. And I did brush out most of my hair before we even started this, so 
it should already be pretty much brushed. I like to start when I curl my hair on the smaller part side. Oh, is this a nat- girl, this is a natural curl. Look how nice that looks. Wow. So I'm gonna go ahead and take most of my hair that's on like this part, part that off, brush that kind of back, and the parts on the middle. So we're gonna start with doing this side. So when I curl my hair, I like to build a shape. So I like to use the curls to my advantage and kind of shape my own hair. And then because I like the ends straight, I clamp the hair inside the little clamp, hold it there, and then let her fall. If I don't like how the ends are looking, I'll just kind of shake out that curl. So that's what it should look like. Basically just kind of keep doing that all the way through different areas, starting on different places. And then I do like to do some where I curl under versus over. And I come to find if you want your hair to look like beachy, the best thing to do is not make it too, too perfect or else she gonna look like she was forced. Let me sit up a little bit. So you can kind of see how the ends down here are a little bit straighter. So what I like to do is just kind of lightly pull the iron through on some of these ends just to straighten them out slightly and that way it blends a little bit but then your hair looks curly and like don't be afraid when you have these kind of curls to kind of like go through it because they're kind of meant to look a little bit messier when it's too perfect though it don't it does not look right so this is what I was talking about where if you feel like the ends are a little too straight you can just kind of go through and lightly curl them the way it matches the aesthetic that we're going for so this is what it should look like kind of messy all of that so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to finish up this part of my head because I still got quite a bit of hair left to do and then I'll show you what I do for this side When I do this side of my head, I basically like to do the same thing. Oh, I forgot to do all this. I'll come back to that. I like to basically take where my part would be on this side, part it on the other side, and then quick pin that up, and then curl your hair the same way you curled this side, but do it on this side. And the reason I like to do my hair kind of all this way versus the way that I was doing it before was because with this type of curl, I have a little bit more wiggle room with the humidity. So that way if I step outside and it is humid and the humidity does take my curl out slightly, I do have that wiggle room where I'm able to kind of not care too, too much about it because curls are just a little bit tighter than what I normally like. I'm just gonna go up towards the root a little bit more and do quick curls. Obviously don't touch your scalp, but it's gonna add just a little bit more. Take some thinner pieces, and this is what I'm saying, like when I curl my hair, I don't just curl one piece, set it down, curl another piece, like I go back over pieces and maybe curl it just slightly more than it was before. Get a little bit more texture, make it look like you have a lot more curls because that's what's gonna make it look more natural. And don't do it perfect either, you know what's, natural curls are gonna look messy, they're gonna look undone. So now for the top section. For the first part, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this, so instead of curling it this way, we're actually gonna curl it this way. So we're gonna curl it the same way that we would curl the rest of our hair on this side. So I'm gonna curl it the opposite way so I have more volume. And then I'm gonna let the curl cool the opposite way. So I'm basically just acting like the way that I'm curling my hair. I'm curling it as if I was parted on this side, but then when I brush my hair over this way, it's just gonna give me a lot more volume. So basically just repeat yourself. Curls longer this way, curls longer this way. Make sure, like I said, you don't do perfect or else it's not gonna look natural, even though these probably really aren't the most natural curls, but okay, you know what I'm saying, boo. And with this top piece, I really like to focus a lot of the attention towards the root of my hair. That way you kind of get that lifted. And then again, let the curls cool this way. That way when you flip it over, you got more volume, baby. And sometimes when I section off my hair and do like 
little bit by little bit too. I just feel like my curls don't look as good either because I'm trying to be too perfect about it by doing this section, this section, this section. So I do like to curl my hair where I have bulk of it out. That way I can kind of shape it. And we're gonna go ahead and flip this bitch over and then like I said you're gonna have some weird wild pieces and if you feel like they're too much just lightly curl them back the other way yes kind of just brush her a little bit I like to use my fingers more than anything when I brush out these types of curls just because I feel like with a brush sometimes it's too much and then what I actually like to do is take this top part right here lightly break that away take your wide tooth comb and just lightly start to tease that. And then if you lose some of the shape when you're doing this, you can also take your curling iron too if you wanna like, say you're like, oh, it's going to my face too much, curl it kind of back and pull it through. And then sometimes I feel like with this part, it makes like the top of your head look a little out of proportionate. So I like to just take a little bit further down, like right here. Take my wide tooth comb, add a little bit more volume, do the same thing on this side. And sometimes that too can brush the curls together, so then what I like to do is take my curling iron again, wrap some curls, kind of just add a little bit more texture. With curls, I find that the best thing you can do is just really spend your time on shaping them. It's when you like rush to pull it all perfectly that it doesn't always look very good. Pin that back. I feel like some of this is just a little bit too perfect. I like legitimately need to put the iron away or else I could just sit here and legitimately curl my hair for hours. All right, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video on how I curl my hair. I don't even know if this video was good. I have not filmed in like a setup like this in so freaking long that I feel like I'm gonna look back at all of this footage and be like, girl, that was awful. So hopefully it wasn't terrible and I hope that you guys enjoyed how I actually do my hair. If you guys want more videos like this, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up Subscribe to my channel right down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!